time, it is said a revealer of all things as it would help to unravel lies and perpetuate the truth. This is exactly the case with a former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Oyabo Azubike Yejirika, who was at the helm of the service from October 2019, 2010 until January 14, 2014. He was subjected to so much scrutiny, harassment, accusations, and unsubstantiated allegations throughout his tenure by groups and individuals with vested interests. But like Jesus asked Mary Magdalene after his trousers abandoned their mission of stoning her. Woman, where are the accusers? They have all disappeared. Who could easily forget the almost daily barrage of allegations by the now muted Bono Elders Forum, Northern Elders Forum, Arewa Consultative Forum, and other groups as well as individuals? Even the allegations reached some ridiculous levels that is patriotic zeal, determination, and efforts then to crush the Boko set were instead interpreted as trying to take revenge for the Nigerian civil war. And when that did not succeed to distract and detract his mission of transforming the Nigerian army into a force better able to tackle the emerging security challenges, a foreigner was hired to malign him with a tag of terrorist sponsor. But today, there is no denying the fact and with the evidence of hind sight as well as the prevailing reality since he left the office that he distinguished himself creditably within the confines of the situation, resources and support he was provided. In addition, here Jirika and his time of emergence as the top dog in the Nigeria army were both historic, symbolic and transformational in many ways, which are key legacies that could not be impeached and have even solidified over time. It is also gratifying for lovers of truth to know that in as much he also made some mistakes as every woman being would, the reality is that the lies orchestrated against He Jurika have been discredited over time, especially with the current spate of insecurity across the country. All the contortions have since fallen like a pack of cars and it would be worth reminding us of some of the legacy events and signature projects that helped define his tenure. Here Jirika and his peers had a unique place in the history of Nigeria armed forces by effectively seeing the end of the era of the conventional ideology of warfare and at the same time pioneered a Nigerian military trained to better tackle the fluid nature of the modern conflicts. Recall that the then President Gulo Jonathan had just appointed here Jurika as Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim, Air Masha Mohamed Diko Uma as Chief of Air Staff, and Air Chief Masha Ulusheyi Petiri as Chief of Defense Staff when the October 1, 2010 twin bombings in Abuja took place. It was an event that greeted these service chiefs who, when the assumed office, inherited a military structure along with the old and conventional doctrine of warfare. However, credit must be given to Hejurika and his core service chiefs for successfully laying the foundation for a modern and efficient force, better and able to tackle contemporary security challenges. Indeed, this novel development all shared in series of deadly bombings by the outlawed Boko set that did not only cost Nigeria and Nigerians napping, but also rattled the security chiefs who were now forced to improvise and re-strategize to, to be able to deal with the reality of unconventional warfare and terrorism. To this end, here Jurika introduced various reforms, training and retraining, especially on counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency required to effectively deal with the emerging security challenges. He laid the groundwork that helped to overcome the challenge of retooling the military that was usually detached from the civil populace and mainly schooled on conventional warfare to properly understand their increasing role in civil conflicts and asymmetrical wars engulfing the whole country. 
Accordingly, the Nigeria Army under his Jurika created the Department of Civil Military Relations, the new 7th Division, Meduguri Counter Insurgency and Counter Terrorism, Department of Transformation and Innovation Center. Here, Jurika's leadership of the Nigeria Army, together with other members of the military high command during its period, while working in collaboration with other security and intelligence agencies, achieved tremendous success at reducing the rates of kidnappings and assassinations in southeast and south southern parts of the country. It also helps to quell the blood the just played to crisis. Hmm. Nigeria, our beloved country. Fortunately, those groups and individuals at the forefront of such verbal assaults have caused have ceased fire in the last five years, some of whom are even today kill elements of government and national security architecture. They now have the ample opportunity to see things clearly and compare notes how easy and effective E.H. Jirika was in steering the affairs of the Nigeria army despite such uh, vociferous and spirited opposition and limited resources. They will in their sincere conscience admit that indeed he indeed deserves an apology, though it is given that he is not looking for any one more than being exonerated from the allegations of the highlands like the Australian Steve Davis, who was recruited to tarnish his image and reputation with the Boko sponsor tag, which was ridiculous then, but even more now. Experience and time, they say, is the best teacher. Hmm. You see? And the Nigerians, if we look at this whole thing, it is not only on, uh, in security area, in other areas too, the economy, the infrastructure, the in everything. Are you talking about uh, the... Uh, obeying court order or treating the people you talk about the electoral at the electoral processes the what has been happening before now which area can you say oh they have improved better they will tell you they created empower meanwhile even in the past administration they created shopee so at the end of the day everything is they are just doing the same thing and now those who were even like i've always said when we talk about the whole thing generally those who were accusing apc then who were accusing pdp then now they are with apc now they can't say anything and meanwhile those who were in pdp then they didn't want people to criticize their their party but now they can criticize the party that is doing the wrong thing which they were doing that they didn't see it as being wrong but unfortunately we are where we are today like it's been said, this man has been exonerated. Now they are there. You do the job. The same, we talk, like I said, in every aspect. You see, talk about a, um, what is it called? Uh, this is a fuel subsidy. Yes, fuel subsidy. The same thing. They say anybody telling you he's paying a fuel subsidy is a scam. Fuel subsidy is a scam. But today, five years down the line, they were paying it. Recently, they just told us that they've stopped. But you told us it was not there initially. So where do we go? And don't be surprised. Some people, like I've always said, some people are on the waiting list just for them to get in there and begin to... It's not as if maybe they have solutions to it. But those who have solutions to the problem we have in this country, they will not just be closer to the power. And they are the ones that will select themselves. So where do we move, even as the people? The people, the masses themselves are not helping matter. That is where the problem is. Well, General Azubike did far better in fighting the uh, insurgency than what we are singing now he deserves an apology that is good for them because he's an Igbo man by tribe but their own son have made the fight for boko as more you look the less you see hmm. he returned two billion dollars to efcc why a round of applause to brutai who has successfully demoralized our troops killed lots of them and tactically defeated boko people who are still strong and active. Well done, sir. Tactical defeater. Audio defeater. I salute you. <laughs> that is a Saka Simzim. Mm. That one is being sarcastic. Well, Buari initiated his boko just to make government ungovernable for his born opposition party PDP. Let them keep the apology, keep their boko, foreign and local militia. Let them keep all of them. Why do some some of these paid uh, whatever were like this, we're talking what they don't understand. Well, time speaks better. The Northerners created this Boko and for Hegerica to come from the East and kill their beloved creature should be resisted. 
and that is why they blocked Goodluck Jonathan from buying weapons to fight his Boko. Today, Northerners are benefiting massively from the activities of the insurgents. Let them continue. So, guys, do you think that this man needs an apology, or you think uh, Boruta is doing is doing well? Leave your comment and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.